fall in love with him tonight. I love you, I love you, I love you. Cause I love you, I love you, I love you. And my heart will follow holy. Cause I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And my heart will follow holy We've got to desire it more. Sorry, it's a bit cold. I've just turned the heater on a bit. We've got to desire him more. It amazes me, you know, that... Well, let's put it this way. The level or the depths of your relationship and your intimacy and your closeness with God depends upon you. Upon you. Your choice. Your decision. Totally. God has done everything within his power to break through into your life. Man, the greatest price was ever paid in all of eternity. The blood of the Son of God. Jesus Christ sent from heaven, the Son of God, as a spotless lamb sent from heaven, sacrificed, slain as a spotless lamb represented in all those years in the Old Testament before with all the sacrifices and, and, uh, and offerings and sanctifications and cleansings and all that sort of stuff because to show us how holy God is. And it never, it never forgave their sin. It just sort of covered it, you know, just enough to 
Allow them to remain. Allow mankind to remain. And then the law was introduced to show mankind how wretched we are and how, how, how wicked we are. How selfish and proud that we are. So the law totally slayed us. It, it's, is that a word? Slayed us. <sighs> it is now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we were slain. The, 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 the commandments of God, the laws of God, slay us. Um, and, and left us mortally wounded with absolutely no hope but for the grace of God. But for the grace of God in sending Jesus Christ his son. And the powers of darkness and the bondage of sin was broken when Jesus cried out upon the cross, it is finished it is complete. It is done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he breathed his last breath. And at that moment, the wrath of God was upon his only son. When it should have been upon you and me. The wrath of God. The furiousness, the damnation, the curse, the judgment of God Almighty came upon his son. For surely we considered him stricken down by God, struck down by God. And he was. And he cried out of the cross, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why, why hast thou forsaken me? That's what he feared. That's what he couldn't face in the Garden of Gethsemane. We think it was a Roman cross and none of us could face that and I'm sure he couldn't either. But what was far more important than just a temporary pain and, and, and wickedness upon the body was the separation from God. This is the Son of God who had been from the beginning with his Father, had never known separation, had never known, experienced sin and no hope and no favour. And no intimacy, relationship and closeness, communion with God, his father. Right there on that cross, God turned his back upon his son, deserted him, abandoned him, and then poured his wrath and judgment and shame and guilt and sin was placed upon him. Your sin, my sin came upon him and God had to strike him down and send him to hell. We will never understand that. Can we comprehend the seriousness?